This is horrific. Y'all looking at the thumbnail, y'all looking at the title of the video, y'all already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Video for today, compliments of 21 Studios. Top TikTok men keeping women in line. I have not seen this one, so let's get active. Without further ado. So my husband woke me up in the middle of the night because he was hungry and wanted a snack. And I was so tired, but I was the good little wifey and took my ass to the kitchen. Damn. It's a hell of a snack. And I whipped him up a little snack. What? A lot of women do not agree with the kind of wife I am, but my grandmother always taught me with all the temptation in the world, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your man at home. Thanks, man. Pour him some juice, too? Oh, hell no. Nah. Hold, hold up, <laughs> hold up. You know what's so crazy? Is that modern dudes today look at shit like this and we just, we just get weak in the knees. You know what I'm saying? Cause like what I experience Asking a young lady nowadays, most of these young ladies nowadays, you ask them about cooking, and they're just like, cook? Cook for who? Like, oh my God, like, this is some truly inspirational shit. This is some, but this is like the basics. Like, this young lady's grandma's like, yo, these are the basics, my G. Like, I don't know where, where, where the youth is going today, but these are like the basics of like, how, how you inspire a man to do his very goddamn best. Cause he's gonna, he's gonna eat that meal, he's gonna feel love, he's gonna feel taken care of, he's gonna go to sleep. And he's going to wake up in the morning. He's going to kill the goddamn day. And then it's a cyclical effect. You know what I'm saying? It's the yin and the yang. You know what I'm saying? Because now he's inspired to be the best man that he could possibly and potentially be. And he won't take that for granted. He won't take that for granted. He's going to lead that with him into his day. But, you know, meals are so important. Shout out to Sister Shabazad Ali, but she talked about this. The importance of meals, sustenance, what we're putting in our bodies, what we put in our bodies affects our mood, how we sleep, and so much more. Our waistlines, right? Like depression, right? Like it, it, it's so, it's so much, it's so important. And I think that you can have a partner that has these, no, it doesn't mean that the guy doesn't need to have these goddamn skill sets either, but just the idea of, okay, I'm bringing you in my, into my kingdom, bringing it, what, what value do you have? Or can you, and the, babe, I'm a little bit hungry. Do you like, oh shit. Listen, if y'all know women that like to do shit like this, you know what I'm saying? I do have an Instagram, slide them in my DMs. You know what I'm saying? I'm just joking. That was a joke. All right, let's keep going. One more thing. Don't ever go to bed with a dirty kitchen. And she clean too. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Where they find them at? Uh, what? When she expects you to text first, but you drive a Maserati. That, that's I tried to, to me. kiss my brother's best friend, but he rejected me twice. Oh. She's stressed. Hold frame, gentlemen. Hold frame. Slip. <laughs> I saw that coming. Good job. Good job. All right. Does that gentleman have two ankle monitors? Excuse me? So, so she does the okay sign to two ankle monitors? <laughs> she loves the pookies. All right, let's keep going. I matched with this guy on Bumble and like, just and I'm like a cute little like, hey there, how are you? Whatever. His message back was an audio message, which first bold, bold, but listen. Hey Trish, happy Friday. How are you today? That voice, that uh, voice is a, it is, it is a crime against women. 
I'm immediately <laughs> pregnant. You know that sound that's like, I'm Gabby and I'm pregnant as fuck. That was me after <laughs> getting funny. that message. Like, sir, your voice oozes sex. How dare you come at me that way? I mean, thank you. You made my day. It's the hottest thing I've ever heard. But like, fuck. Guys, th this is, um, this is a really important clip right here. Why is that? Well, a lot of times I get detractors on the channel that says, you know, why do you look at so much, um, you know, female based content and then react to it or tell a story about it? And this is a prime example why. OK, because it's one thing for me to say to you guys verbally, you know, I make a video, 10 things to attract women or something like that. And I talk about the vibrato in your voice. Right. And lowering it, you know, uh, in order like to get to that portion of your diaphragm that would then turn on women. And it's one thing for me to just say that, but then to show an example just like this of watching visibly her viscous inner, I could like hear the, the suppleness and the innards begin to tingle because what she was describing right there. So guys, listen, um, know, know what you sound like. OK, it's very key and it's very important. Like me, for example, I was looking at some some uh, some like preteen videos of myself the other day. And I had a really, really high voice. OK, and even as my voice began to drop, I worked. It's like building up a, like muscles, like going into the gym. I worked on dropping my voice even lower. And even in now, it's it feels normal because I built up the muscle to to get down into my diaphragm because to a degree, I know that having that deep, low vibrato of a voice really turns on women. It works, trust me. This idea of uh, things that you could do to enhance your masculinity to attract women, it's so key. There's a visual aspect to it. There's how you walk, how you dress, the game, the th words that actually come out your mouth. There's so many things that you could do to add on to it. And like she's calling out right here with a clear, direct example, the vibrato in your voice is, is one of them as well. All right, let's keep going. How he's bending. Oh, oh, oh! I just saw a trickle of innards so roll down her leg. Karen, also known as a Becky, slide into my DMs. What she what? said was sweet and simple. She goes, "I don't get you." Now I was intrigued by this, so I responded by saying, "What?" She said, "Well, you have a lot of followers, but you only have like one or two good videos, and that's it." Well, after Shit a 16-second view of her profile, it didn't take Scooby-Doo to figure out the mystery of what videos of mine she was talking about. You see, this Becky is part of Thought TikTok, also known as ThoughtCock. Every single <laughs> one of her thumbnails was her in a bikini with her rear end facing the camera. Got so I'm it. assuming the videos of mine one she's of talking about are the ones where I went full f boy. You know, the tan pants. You know the ones. Gray so I sweatpants. Her and I said, well, I try to do as much original content as I can, and I think sometimes people appreciate that. She said, well, you'd probably have more followers if, you know, you did the dances and stuff. But I'd probably have more followers if I had tits too, but neither of those things are gonna happen. She really expected her to accept her side, dude. What? Excuse me? Why you invited me to Texas? Me and you, man. Cool, I told you what's coming. We just cool, brother. It's no problem. Come sit down. Oh, shit! Are you, are you oh, shit. Happy birthday. Hold up, hold up, hold up before this continues. Hold up. Why you invited me to Texas? Is she. Is she telling him to move over? I'm assuming that this guy right here is the boyfriend and then the one in the green shirt um, who just gave her a hug and I believe a kiss um, is trying to stand, sit next to the to the boyfriend and she's telling him to move over as the birthday song is going? No. Say it ain't so, modern woman. Oh, what? Wait, are you oh, yeah, so he's sitting next to her. Happy birthday. No, I'm good. No, you're not taking the bed. Look at no, Daniel, stop. 
You'll get the bag. No, you're not getting the bag. You're not getting No, stop. You're you're get no, 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 you get it. You're 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 this, you're 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 this is horrific. Just friends, brother. We just friends. This is friends, man. Wow. I don't give a fuck. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this real? Look at, look. <laughs> Yo, to to sum up, to sum up the way. Look at, look. <laughs> Yo. Ooh, this is like a oh, shout out to South Park. Sh screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> I went to the same shit. How how dare you? How dare you invite someone who has pillaged your insides previously to your birthday dinner now? We're just friends. We're just bullshit. Ain't no such thing. You're not just friends. You know why? Because friends don't go inside you. That's where the friendship ends. Okay? That's when it ends. Especially in a relationship right now, if I communicate to you that I am not comfortable with that, you should respect that. So crazy. He had the Dior sitting out on the table. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, my brother. Uh -huh. I feel you. But this, this is what you call the ultimate shit testing. He passed with flying colors, right? He didn't get mad at the guy. The guy's just playing his role. But you got to get mad at who you need to hold responsible in that situation. And that's allowing, <laughs> she was doing like, scoot over, scoot, scoot. The nerve. All right, let's keep going. Showing a picture of my ex to my boyfriend. This picture. Who is this? My ex. This is your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. We've been dating for so long, and now you show me your ex-boyfriend. What are you, like, jealous or something? Jeal I am concerned, Marie. I am concerned. Why are you concerned? Look at him. What? I always knew I couldn't trust you around handsome guys. Now I know I can't trust you around ugly guys either, Maria. Look at him. <laughs> i tell you what. You say some shit. Like, ask him some real strategic shit. She's going to be like, oh, my God. Like, uh, like In her mind, she's going to drop herself down from whatever she was at least a point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's some dark arts type shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, listen, if they if they go through the nerve of showing you like I don't care. Like why why are you showing me? All right? Make make her feel her decision. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what the gentleman just did. All right, let's keep going. You'll be on your best behavior. I promised other people that I'd be on my worst behavior. Girls trip to Miami, never gonna happen. Cause a lot of girls <laughs> would be like, oh, we Future all relations. Like, why? Bro, if you're on a yacht in Miami, somebody got to be pulling out somehow, some way, and I ain't going to take the chance if it's my girl. F that. So, if the girls trip, yeah, we you can go on the girls trip. We will break up, and on the Monday or whenever you come back, we will discuss what you did and how your actions were. And if I'm disgusted, we will no longer be together. Yeah, yeah, but but I, so here's, here's the problem with that logic is that th this. This is incumbent on her telling the truth. So it's like, why go through the whole br breaking up for, you know, for you to allow her to go, right? Like, and, and I think it's the context matters as well, right? Like, yeah, someone's, someone's going to be putting out, but like, you know, wh what type of girl is she? What type of friends th does she have? Because I know for damn sure, right, like, I can't expect my significant other um, not to uh, only to only go on trips with me or solo into the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't think that that is very um, a good way to live, right? I need my free time. She's gonna need her free time as well, right? Like, but what type of girl do you have, right? What type of friends does she have, right? Is she the single girl hanging out with all the married girls? Well, it reduces the risk. It doesn't mean that she ain't gonna go out there and then act like because she's in a new state whatever bodies that she accumulates out there doesn't matter but at the same time right like i think in my mind of do i do i even want to think about shit like that like i got too much dope shit going on in my life to <laughs> to think about all of that and have to break up and then get back together and have a discussion with her and then act like whatever she tells me is going to be the truth to each his own no you know what i'm saying to each his own future relations 10 16. wait Hey babe, are we getting on tonight? Oh. Split it! 
Yeah! Yeah! When he gives you flowers, you be like, yeah? Why do girls like flowers? Like, I'm convinced women like flowers and shit because marketers told them that they should like it. Like, the same way as that women like diamonds because marketers told you that you should like diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why, like, this is the purpose of channels like this is like, is what you think constructed or is it actually you? D why do y'all like shit that grows out the ground? It, like, do y'all really like that shit? Do you? Or did someone tell you you should? We have a whole society of people that I feel like just can't think for themselves. It's ever since the invention of the TV, ever since the invention of advertisements, right? Like, and, pe and people understanding the power of visual um, as well as auditory um, marketing, right? It has a profound impact on uh, tribal people. It absolutely does, right? So let's continue. I, listen, I wouldn't mind the massage, though. You know what I'm saying? I tell you guys one thing. That's a face massage is one of the best massages that you can ever have. My turn to spoil her. Huh? Okay, okay, got uh, ladies, ladies. I'm going to speak for the conglomerate of men and say that we don't like this shit. He going to act like he like this shit. Guys, we don't want the same shit that y'all want. We, we know that y'all like the shit that y'all see in the movies and shit like that. For, but for the majority of dudes, like if I walk in and I see fucking rose petals everywhere, I'm just going to be like, what? What? Why? It, it doesn't make sense to me. Like if you want to run, run me a tub... With some with some Epsom salt, like like think of masculine ways to to treat your dude. Don't don't do shit based off of what you think that you would want to see. Oh nah, yo, I don't agree. Nope. Nope. The 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 title of this TikTok really? is is women is men getting women in line and that to me is not in line like you know when I see women do that to me it's like a it's a act of desperation right like you know what I'm saying like it's just it's just I don't agree with it I, I don't I don't think women should be doing that it's my opinion but let's keep on hey, do you have to drink after work every day you scared the fucking dog out of me first of all all right I won't drink let's talk about your day what'd you do at work today I don't have a job you know this. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> drink drink Hi, your beer. Hi, Let's make some lunch for my husband. Tomorrow he's going to get a club sandwich. I'm just starting off with three pieces of butter toast. I'm adding lettuce and ham. I'm putting the mayo onto the ham just that to prevent any good. sogginess. I'm adding another Ooh, piece of toast, some pepper jack cheese, and some Dave's hot a pickles. A double-layered sandwich. I'm also adding another piece of lettuce and some crispy bacon. Oh. I'm going to fold that over and cut it diagonally. Some of those pieces of bacon fell out, but that's just because it's super crispy. Oh. But look how pretty that is. Um, I'm wrapping it in some parchment paper. She's and wrapping putting it? some toothpicks in there just to hold everything together. Oh, hell no. Nah. In his other container, he's going to get some peaches. I wow. have a paper towel on there just to prevent She's meal any prepping of the him. peach juice from leaking onto the trail mix side and making it soggy. In his lunch bag, he's going to get some snacks. I'm just packing some cheese crackers, a Cliff Bar, the H-E-B Doritos, I'm, an I'm orange Gatorade, <laughs> and his overnight oats. Bye, y'all. Listen, let me, let me tell you something. There were 72 feminists that just rolled in their grave just right now. <laughs> just, you're cooking for him? <laughs> I want to show you guys some habits I implement into my everyday life to keep my house clean. First is loading the dishwasher at night and unloading it in the morning and then reloading it after breakfast and then I can just reload it throughout the day. I always do one load of laundry a day as well and also fold it when it's done. Wow. I keep a small basket of these little microfiber cloths behind our mirror so I can wipe down the mirror. I God have bless to. You. My toddler loves putting her hands on it and then also to just dust. And after that, I always turn on our air purifier what? after I dust because it just gets so stuffy. 
And of course, I always make my bed. If you can do anything, let it be making your bed. It just pulls the whole room together. I also try to vacuum every day because we have a mini Aussie that sheds, so I really do need to try and vacuum every single day. And then last but not least, I always wipe down our bathroom counters just because hairspray and dry shampoo and stuff can get stuck there. And you know what? You know what's so crazy? I now understand when they say women can make a house a home. You know, but it's, but it's because I look at shit like this, not the shit that we've all been ex expo exposed to normally. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it now. I, I understand. Those that have that kind of ideology, I absolutely get it. Because all of that shit, I never do. I never make my bed or <laughs> nothing like that. I never do that shit. Dust. What? <laughs> like, when? You know, like once a quarter or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or if, or if like, I know a bunch of people are going to come over, I'll quickly like throw some shit somewhere, throw some shit in a closet. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't... I don't go in depth like that, but man, like coming home and your house smelling good. There's some food, you know what I'm saying? That's in and around the area. Listen, shout out to the dudes out there that, that end up finding these, these young ladies with these mindsets. So my wife is probably the best wife in the world. She is so extra. Take a look at what she did for my birthday. Avocado and orange salad. Damn. Beef tartare and liver mousse. Lobster bisque. Rack of lamb with potatoes and carrots. Octopus and squid ink risotto. Last entree, beef wellington. Holy moly. Chocolate Sh mousse. She's a chef. Mini pavlova cake. Nah, yo. Mm-mm. Because my husband plays in the NFL, people... Yo, I'd be at least 30 more pounds of solid muscle in my body if I have <laughs> had a young lady that, that, that was a chef. I swear to God. Just pure muscle, just muscles coming out of every goddamn portion of my body. Love to call me things like gold digger or trophy wife or my personal favorite, wait, wait. Jersey chick. I'm, I'm, I missed. Because my husband plays in the NFL, people love to call me things, things like gold digger. Things like gold digger or trophy wife or my personal favorite, Jersey chaser. The thing is, my husband uh, and I met when we were 15 and started dating when we were 17. She held him down. So I had the absolute privilege of she witnessing this. And this evolve into this and this. Okay, so please stop calling me a gold digger and call me for what I am, a psychic. <laughs> All right, that's it for the reaction. Shout out uh, to 21 Studios, a fantastic compilation. Guys, I'll leave a link down in the description box down below to go check out their channel. You know, they do conventions and things like that. Um, and as well, they have a bunch of other um, TikToks just like this. So feel free to go up and look at all of what they have in store. Um, shout out to all of the uh, ladies that were featured in this channel that came from a positive perspective. Um, and then shout out to the dudes for, you know, um, having the wherewithal to act in a way to grab women like that. I, and I think it's... You know, it's awesome to be able uh, to see. Questions, comments, concerns? God already know what to do. Me over to tourism reviews at gmail.com. Feel free to hit me up. Last but not least, guys, I got a Patreon. If you want to support me outside of YouTube, click on the link down below, beam up, and then see the things that are in store. All right? Thank you guys so much for your support. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. Peace.